hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and uh, this is the tutorial number 110 as you can see that uh, i have uh, modeled this uh, simple part with the help of a uh, part design workbench and i will show you from the scratch how you can do the same so this is the very simple tutorial designed for the beginner user of a uh, free cat so let's start so i will close this file and create a new file you can also visit my website macnexus.com where I write articles and tutorials on FreeCAD. You can download my tutorial source file from here, tutorial source file page. And you can also support me by buying a cup of coffee on coffee.com. Your uh, small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on FreeCAD. I thanks to all my supporter those who have uh, supported me by buying a cup of coffee so keep supporting and uh, it will help me to grow this channel and uh, it will motivate me to create more awesome and useful tutorials on free cat so let's come back to our tutorial here I have uh, created a new file and I will uh, switch to the part design workbench and here I will insert my body and I will press the space bar and on my origin plane and then we will uh, create our first sketch on the front plane select this plane and uh, click on the sketch click on the origin plane and off it and uh, we will create a rectangle and then we will uh, select a polyline tool and uh, we will trim the unnecessary geometry click on the trim trim it and uh, we will make it symmetric select this point and this point and uh, axis select this point this point and uh, axis and select a uh, horizontal dimension give it 25 select vertical dimension of uh, 15 and again select horizontal dimension give it uh, 10 and now I will uh, move it and define the overall height of uh, 30 mm So our uh, sketch is fully constrained. We will close it and uh, we will extrude to the distance of uh, 80 mm. Press 0 for isometric. Select sketch. Click on the pad and uh, keep it uh, symmetric to the plane and uh, provide the length of uh, 80 mm and uh, click on OK. Now we will uh, create this rib and uh, click on the origin to on it and select this plane and uh, click on the sketch and uh, click on the origin and off it and now we will click on my project geometry and we will uh, switch to the wireframe view and uh, select a line tool and first we will uh, create a profile approximate profile and now we will resolve the conflict and this will be the vertical and this will be the horizontal and now we will uh, create this as a construction so we will uh, select a line tool and uh, create a rectangle and we will press control and select all these three lines and uh, make it construction and now let's uh, give the dimension so select the vertical dimension from this 
to this point is of uh, 45 and move it select uh, horizontal dimension from this point to this point is of uh, 145 and uh, this is of uh, 8 mm so we will uh, give the 8 mm and this is the vertical dimension of uh, 20 and uh, this is the horizontal dimension of uh, 60 this is the horizontal dimension of a uh, 62.5 so 62.5 and now we will move the dimension so that uh, you can clearly see it and we will select this and this and add the parallelity and here we will uh, select this and this and add a vertical relation so our uh, sketch is uh, fully constrained we will close it press V7 for shaded view and uh, we will extrude it to the 40 mm select the sketch click on extrude give the 40 and uh, from here select symmetric to the plane click on ok now we will uh, provide the fillet so this is the diameter 40 so we will uh, provide uh, two fillet of 20-20 uh, mm so here we will give the 19.99 click on select and select this to edge and click on ok and now we will uh, create this boss press 0 for isometric and select this face and click on the sketch click on project geometry and project this uh, radius click on the circle create a circle and uh, we will extrude it to the 8 mm click on extrude and give the 8 mm click on ok select it and uh, say refine set it true select the top face click on the sketch click on the project geometry select the circle create a circle and uh, this is of a diameter 25 so select diameter and give it 25 click on close select the sketch click on extrude cut and say it through all and now we will uh, create these two holes select the top face and uh, click on the sketch and uh, we will uh, create the uh, two circles one here and uh, one here and uh, this is of a diameter 17 so we will select diameter and uh, give it uh, 17 and we will make it uh, symmetric so we will click on symmetricity select this center this center and this axis and here is a conflict we will delete it now we will select the vertical dimension and uh, this is of a 50 mm and uh, we will press control key select these two circles and uh, made it equal click on close select the sketch click on extrude cut and say through all say ok you can also make this hole with uh, help of a hole wizard tool but uh, it is a plain drill hole so i have made with a cut so here we have uh, completed our model and now we will provide the color so we will go to the appearances go to the shape color and uh, we will uh, provide the approximate color with respect to our isometric so you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully modeled this part and uh, this model is for beginner user and it is a very simple part to get understand the part design workbench of a free cat so this is all about this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel 
and also support me on coffee.com you can buy me a cup of coffee link is given in your video description your small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on freecad thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time